Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a summer makeup tutorial. Something very fresh, pretty, like simple, so not a lot of like thick products, like foundation wise and concealer wise. I'm going to just use very light, thin products. Um, I'm going to be using the Lemonade Palette by Dominique Cosmetics, which is Kristen Dominique's brand. And I actually really like this. I think it's so underrated. I love the color story. I also love the colors yellow and pink, and I think those colors spring scream summer. Uh, of course, I'll use other colors too that are in here. Um, and I'm really excited to use this palette in this tutorial to see how I achieve a, my summer makeup look. <laughs> then just keep watching. I'm going to start with uh, my eyes and I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in Night. I like how this cancels out any of my veins. Lexi Precision Foundation brush to blend that out. The color Nude Tea swipes in there and I'm going to take my Real Techniques crease brush and I'm going to start with the shade, this one called Mango, and I'm going to put that in the crease. Oh, hello. <laughs> that is awesome. So for the next color, I'm going to use a shade called Sweetie on the outer portion of my eyes using the same brush, doing the same thing. I'm going to just go through it once. Oh wow, that's a really nice pigment. That's a really pretty color too. I'm gonna take my what? Oh no, my crown flat shader brush, and I'm gonna take the shade called Chai Tea. I like these names. These names are really cute, <laughs> and they fit the the palette theme so well. So I'm gonna swipe like that, or you can tap too. Pat that right here. Just to add some depth. So I'm gonna go back into Sweet Tea, tap into it once, put that on more like towards the inner part. Okay, so now for the lid color. I think I'm going to go with the shade first called Strawberry, and then I'm going to go in with Pink Lemonade. And then my Equal Tools shading brush. So I'm going to go in with whoop, the shade called Strawberry. Do that a couple of times, and I'm going to focus that on this portion. Oh, that is not... Here, I'm gonna just use my finger. Huh. So that is not the color. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna go over that with some actual concealer because that brush has actually got glue on it. <laughs> We're just taking my Pico Revolution concealer. Yeah, more of like a blank canvas. <laughs> and I go back into the shade called Strawberry with my finger. And it, there we go. Pack that onto the lid. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. These are really nicely formulated eyeshadows. That's really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into I'm gonna go back into the shade called Sweet Tea and Chai Tea. And I'm just gonna put those colors back in. My BH Cosmetics number nine. I'm going to chai tea and start putting that on that outer portion. There's a little bit of like I would say kickback or fallout, but that's really doesn't bother me. It's really not that bad. BH Cosmetics number, oops, seven. And I'm gonna go into the shade called Mango just to blend everything together. I'm actually really loving how this is turning out. And I'm gonna go back into that strawberry shade, just in case I blend it away. Yeah, that looks, that looks really good. And I'm of course gonna clean that up, clean it both up. So now for mascara, I'm gonna use my, one of my favorites, right? I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I'm gonna do the lower lashes in a little bit. I'm gonna do Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. It's hydrating and pore memorizing for minimizing and it's also oil free. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out on my hand. Mm. Oh man. It smells really minty. It feels nice and moisturizing. Just patting that in. Okay, so now that my primer's on, that feels really nice. It doesn't feel too heavy, and I just felt really nice and lightweight and moisturizing. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with pe peach and sweet, sweet fig cream. And I'm just gonna do two pumps on the back of my hand. Use my finger and Put 
got that around. Here's one of my favorite face brushes. This is the Signata Flat Kabuki F80. And I'm just gonna start tapping that into the skin. like about this foundation is that it gives really good coverage but it doesn't look like flat like I don't look dull hold on one second there we go I don't know what my camera was doing <laughs> so for concealer I'm gonna use the same makeup revolution Conceal and Define. I am using the shade C3. That's what I used to put on my eyes as well. And to blend that out, I'm going to use my favorite concealer brush, which is the Medium Sculpting Brush by Real Techniques. I'm just going to blend that out underneath the eyes. And also use that to shape up my eye. What I'm gonna do is set my face, of course. Um, and I'm going to use my one of my favorite setting powders ever is the Cover Effects Translucent Light, or no, the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. Um, I'm going to use that to set my face. I love how creamy this formula is and how you don't need a, like, a bunch. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics number two brush. I love this brush for putting it on powder. It just distributes it so evenly. And uh, what else I love about this powder is that it sets it in place, but it still gives you like a glow. I use my Too Faced Natural Face Palette. My F15 <laughs> brush. And I'm going to the shade called Sunny Honey. I'm going to start. bronzing up the skin. I love this. It's such a good palette. And I'm going to take a little bit of the shade called Pink Wink on the same brush. I'm just going to use a, a light lightly to just give me like a flushed look. Sigma F of three highlighting brush high cheekbone highlighter and I need to use the shade called starlight I feel like it really ties in with the eye look um for the inner corner I'm going to use the shade I was talking about earlier called pink lemonade and mix in lemon soda. So these two together will just pull out the pink and yellow in this look. And I'm gonna use my EXO Beauty Pencil Brush. I'm just gonna dip into both of those. Use my I think this is the Vintage Cosmetics Company. Like, I don't know if it's like a small shader brush. And I'm gonna take the shade 
this it's like a it's like a plum it's called chai tea I'm gonna use that on the lower lash line the inner corner highlight that I used I'm gonna put that in the inner like right here And now I'm gonna go back into that mascara that I used earlier, the Milk Makeup. So now for lips, I'm gonna use um, her, one of her lip glosses. She has, so the collection comes with four different lip glosses. They come with, what shade is this? Peach tea. Strawberry lemonade. Pink lemonade. And nude tea. I wanna, I think. I'm gonna try peach tea. Hmm. That's really pretty. And I like that the applicator is like this. Hmm. And they smell good. I like, they don't, I like this gloss. I don't think they're sticky and they feel very comfortable. To wear. And also very moisturizing. I really like this lip gloss. It's a really pretty color. And this is the shade, again, Peach Tea. Such a pretty pink. And I use some setting spray. Mashbox Sweater Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water uh, with, in collaboration with Nicole Concilio. you guys and that completes today's video I'll give you a close-up there's the eyes the face I think it looks really good I love the eyes they just scream spring not spring summer to me I love the lip I love everything I think I think Christine Dominique if you're watching this I think you did such a lovely job on this palette I think it's really universal because you have these matte shades you have these these four wait sorry these four these four matte shades and then you have these like really pretty um, metallic shades to play with just to amp up your look. And they're also really formulated really well. I love this. I think this is such a good palette. Kristen, you did such an awesome job. I love it. And I love the glosses too. The glosses are such a good gloss. They don't feel sticky. They don't feel heavy. They just, they feel so comfortable. And so, yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful or fun to watch. And I hope you guys have a great night or day wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.